through this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to try and demonstrate how to do a shared experience using Jira, the new Jira Explorer multi-user, multi-platform experience. I have an iPhone right here that I'm going to use, so I'm going to communicate between the HoloLens, which I'm wearing right now, see, um, and uh, an iOS device, so Windows to uh, Apple. So we'll see how that goes, um, but it should hopefully work pretty smoothly. So I'm going to load up Geo Explorer SE in, on the HoloLens to start with. Um, and it'll take a few seconds to load. But when you get into the app, you're greeted with um, a little menu. So I'm going to create a little um, a lobby room system in Photon. Uh, Photon Engine is kind of like a state sharing, uh, multi-user, multiplayer uh, game engine, game tool. Uh, works on the cloud, it's really nice. Works on different platforms as well. And it's really nice and easy to set up for um, the HoloLens and uh, iPhone in Unity. So I'm going to create a username. I'm just going to use the default one that I selected there. And then I'm going to create a new room. Uh, and this room, I'm just going to call it a single character. I'm going to call it A. Um, typing's pretty hard on HoloLens, so I'm just going to keep it to a simple thing. And now I'm into a room, and I now have the option to create a uh, anchor point or a shared, uh, an origin point from my shared coordinate system that I'm going to put onto my iPhone as well. Um, I can create this manually, just hit continue. And this is really good for a remote um, setup where I'm trying to communicate and have a shared session with somebody in a different city. I can just have each of us create our own little manual point and all things will appear relative to that. But if you're locally, um, you can do something one step better. I mean, you can still do it manually if you want to, but you can also use this system called Azure Spatial Anchors that essentially um, automatically maps out the room and puts a uh, the anchor point in, in in a space relative to those to the to the spatial mesh the room around you um, and shares that information with whatever device um, wants to try and find it so we're going to do that right now so I'm going to create an anchor name and this time I'm going to just call it um, let's call it Q anchor Q a big capital Q too so it gives me an anchor placement indicator and I'm going to place it on the bed right Okay, so that's my anchor placed, and it's saving it, and there it goes. It's saved up, give me a little label on it, that's cool. So let's go and try and, I'm just going to start recording on my phone. Let's go and download it on my iPhone. So, um, we'll open up the app. Here we go. We'll get started. Again, log in using the username. And this time I'm going to join a room, and you can see that um, room A is available, has one person in it, which is me, and I'm going to enter that room. I'm in that room, and you can see my head position down there on the whole lens um, is not in the right place for my phone, so I need to find the anchor. So let's go find the anchor. So let's enter the anchor name, which is a capital Q, um, and let's go find the anchor. So it's now scanning the room, calling this thing called a watcher, and there it goes. It's already found it, took a few seconds, and now my head position is in the same place for both of us. So it's over here, and if I move it over here, it follows nicely. Now, I can now download some models. So I'm going to download an outcrop. We have lots of little photogrammetric outcrops uh, stored online. I'm going to download this one from uh, Cornwall in England. And it's downloading really fast on my phone, but it's also started downloading on the whole lens too. Um, it's already downloaded on the phone, which is really fast. Um, so, whole lens is lagging behind a little bit. But, um, yep, see, it is just me. Uh, hello. Um, so, we're still waiting for it to download. We're at 50%. My poor internet is struggling a little bit. <laughs> but we're getting there. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this done in time. And there it is. Okay, so we have uh, it in the same place for both of us. Um, the anchor point's in the same place. And if I'm the owner of the model, I can actually do a thing. I can actually move things around. And it'll move for both of us too. So scale, rotate, using two fingers on the, on the phone. If I was on the whole lens, I'd use two finger pinch to zoom, pinch to rotate, things like that.